Hello everybody, welcome to another video from Mr. QR Code. Today in this video I want to show you how to generate a QR code for a web link and I'm going to use the free QR code generator tool from DuckDrag platform. Let's start, we need to go to ddqr.me link. This is the free QR code generator from DuckDrag. Thanks DuckDrag for providing this amazing tool. As you see, you, have, you can create a QR code for different items. In this video, I want to show you how to create a QR code for the link and how you can design it based on different options in DuckDrag free QR code generator. As an example, I want to make a QR code for my YouTube channel link. I copy my link and I paste it on this URL field here. And after that, you will see the QR code will be generated automatically. And uh, if you're happy with this QR code, you can just save it in different formats, PNG, SVG, or PDF, and also you have the option to directly print this QR code. Now everyone with this QR code should be able to go to uh, my channel. And in the rest of the video, I wanna show you how to design this QR code with Dr. Rack Design Studio, because there are a lot of options here that you can change the colors, you can change the design of the QR code, you can add your logo to the QR code, and also you can add a frame and some um, optional items. Now I want to change the colors. You can color, click on the colors here and you see that there are some options uh, that you can uh, change the background color, you can change the foreground color, and also you can keep it as a transparent background. Uh, if you click on the box here, you can change the colors of the QR code uh, on the background of the QR code and you see that the color of the background will be changed to the selected color and also the color of the QR code can be changed to any color that you want from the box here and as you see the color of the QR code will turn to blue. Uh, there is a nice option that you can use for a kind of gradient uh, colors that you can select two colors and then you see that the gradient will be applied on the uh, QR code and also there is the option to make it even uh, radial that you will see from middle to the corner you will see the color is changing. Uh, again if you like this design you can save it and if uh, you want to change the design of the QR code you can go to the next option in the design option, uh, as you see, there are uh, different types of QR code uh, shape and uh, this is the pattern, this is the marker border and this is the marker center. You can have a different combinations of these items. Uh, you can have a pattern, for example, you see the pattern is changed to this uh, one and then you can also change the corner of the QR code. The corner of the QR code is changed and also you can have a middle of the, the center center marker also you can change. Now you see the QR code now is more advanced and more um, uh, beautiful and if you like it you can again save it and also there is a possibility to have a kind of custom colors uh, for the corner and the center of this marker. That's why uh, it gives a lot of possibilities in the design option to design your QR code based on different pattern and different uh, border and center options. The next item is to add a logo. Uh, of course, you would like to have some logo in the middle of your QR code. Uh, there are some uh, items here that you can use. For example, if this is a link, you can just put the link icon in the middle or the, if this is a location or it's a phone number or uh, is a Wi-Fi or anything that you want to have, you can um, have a logo here. And also there is a nice option that you can upload your logo. That's why you can click on the upload and you can select your logo and you can have your logo in the middle of the QR code. There is a nice option that you can remove the background behind the logo, which makes it nicer because it will uh, make the corn the around of the uh, logo very nicely. And also you can change the size of the uh, logo if you want to change it. And that's uh, all about adding logo to the QR code. Now we can add the frame to the QR code. In this step, you can see some options here. 
that you can uh, select different options for the uh, frame of your QR code and uh, you can change the um, text on the, fr on the frame for example you can say uh, follow uh, us for example and then also there are some options uh, for the font that you can select from the list here and uh, and also it's possible to add the color for uh, your uh, frame if you want to have a uh, fixed color you can also change the color here then uh, you have a, uh, also the color for your frame and if you don't want it and you want to keep the initial one you can always come back to the gradient uh, initial color and the last part is the options uh, that you can uh, have uh, different uh, size for your uh, QR code uh, you can make it uh, smaller or larger based on the uh, size that you like and also you can have uh, the options for change the precision of the QR code um, personally I like to make it uh, high because then it will give you a more precise QR code especially when, when someone scans this QR code now we are ready and we can save this uh, nice QR code you can compare this QR code with the black QR code that we made in the beginning of the video and you see how you can make the QR code very nice with this design studio uh, now you can save it in different formats like PNG uh, with a transparent possibility and also with the uh, SVG that you can have a very high quality QR code that you can use for the large print and also you can print it directly from here for example I will make a PNG format and it will be downloaded on the computer and then you can open this QR code now everyone with this uh, QR code can get access to my uh, YouTube link and uh, it's very good that you can use the QR code for your social media, for your YouTube videos and even for businesses that you want to have access to your product information. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please like this video and also don't forget to subscribe on my channel. I will publish more videos about QR codes because QR code is a very nice tool for sharing information and also for businesses. And stay tuned and see you in the next videos.